So you think you're ready to launch your very own equity crowdfunding campaign on backers. Now what? For starters, this video is the first step in getting started, and yes, you need to watch it all the way to the end. Now let me ask you a question. Are you an entrepreneur or business owner? Do you have a business or idea that could change the world? Have you failed to launch your startup or your business is failing because you cannot get funding? Banks said no, lenders want your firstborn, and sharks can smell blood. Have you tried to build a following on social media, but it costs way too much with little or no return? Okay, if you answered yes to most, if not all of these, what impact would $100,000 have on your business? How about a million or $5 million or more? How would that change your business and your life? Stick around for the next little while, watch to the end of this video, and we'll show you how you can change your business and your life. A quick disclaimer, do not watch this if you do not have a business or you are not thinking of starting one. Do not watch this if you're not an entrepreneur or have no desire to become one. And lastly, don't watch this if you're a business owner or entrepreneur, but you are content with what you have, and you have no desire to grow your business, gain loyal customers, or raise capital. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get back to it. So the big question is, how can you grow your business, gain loyal customers, and raise capital without paying high interest loans or giving away total control of your business? Now hopefully, most of you will know the answer to the following. But just in case you skip some of the previous videos in the series, here it is again. What is Backers? Backers is a social funding platform that enables private corporations to raise capital and build a following by selling equity in their business. What is equity crowdfunding? Equity crowdfunding is a mechanism that enables broad groups of investors to fund startup companies and small businesses in return for equity. Investors give money to a business and receive a share of the ownership of that business. When the business succeeds, then its value goes up as well as the value of a share in that business. Thanks, Wikipedia. I think you get the picture. Private companies raise capital or money by selling equity or shares in their business to the crowd. It seems so simple, right? So what? Why should you care? Because 90% of businesses fail. And the question you need to ask yourself is, why do they fail? Now, while there are many reasons a business fails, I'm sure you know all of these, right? Because you're part of the 10% that will succeed, right? But just in case, in no particular order, three of the main reasons are, drum roll please, one, no plan, two, no market fit, and three, no cash. Other notable mentions include poor timing, poor leadership, poor execution, oversaturation, no differentiation, lack of focus, and the list goes on and on. To many it seems as though failure is imminent and unavoidable. So as entrepreneurs, why do we even bother? Great question. We thought the very same thing, and so we set out to find the ultimate solution to this very problem. How can we reduce the risks of failure and increase the chances of success for businesses? Our business, your business, every business. But before we get to the solution, let's try to understand the problem a little bit better. Problem one, no plan. I mean, this makes sense. We've all seen the quotes. If you don't know where you're going, you'll end up someplace else. Yogi Berra. By failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. Benjamin Franklin. Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I'll spend the first four sharpening the axe. Abraham Lincoln. So, we wondered why do so many entrepreneurs fail to plan? Some better questions might be, why plan? What can happen if you don't plan? And better yet, what happens if you do plan? You see, a business plan is kind of like dribbling a basketball. Okay, Sports metaphor. If you're a little OCD, you're right. It's actually an, anal an analogy. And you see, dribbling is simply the means to the end. Shooting, scoring, passing, winning, etc. But you need to be able to dribble up the court and position yourself for success. And the better your handles are, the better your position you'll be in to make a play. Or depending on what the defense is doing, possibly make changes on the fly. But with a clear goal in mind. 
your chances of success will be far greater. A great dribbler can focus on both the immediate, feet, hands, ball, and the long-term objectives, basket, teammates, opponents, clock, score, etc. A great plan also focuses on both the immediate, budgets, deadlines, cash flow, tasks, and the long-term objectives, opportunities, strengths, weaknesses, markets, etc. Which brings me to the last part of the analogy, the execution of the plan. Take the pick and roll, for example. Simple play, or so it would seem. But depending on your ball handling skills, there are many different outcomes, as is the case with the strength of a business plan and its ability to adapt, and for that matter, foresee or even predict possible outcomes, or have the flexibility to make necessary changes. Hopefully you get it, the importance of planning. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, yeah, great, more work. Maybe you're thinking, what's the point? I don't have the time, it's too hard, or the best one we hear all the time, I don't even know where to begin. Maybe you wrote one, but it's outdated. We get it. Remember, we're entrepreneurs as well. We've been there, we've done that, and we have the scars to prove it. And like most entrepreneurs or business owners, your focus is likely on building your business, developing or improving your product or service, growing revenues, increasing profits, decreasing costs, customer support, payroll, accounting, day-to-day -day operations, marketing, and, 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 the list goes on. You've got a ton on your plate. It's obviously not a priority. I think you'd agree that you prioritize things that make you money and things that grow your business, things that affect the bottom line, things that make your job easier or your business more profitable. Makes sense. I mean, who can argue with that? Like they say, money makes the world go round. Now, what if we told you that there is something that you have of value that there's a product that you currently own that people would be willing to give you money for that would cost you nothing to produce, that was extremely profitable, and all you had to do to sell it was to tell people about it. By simply describing it to them, how it works, why it's important to them, what problem it solves, and where to get it. Let's take it a step further. What if the people you're introducing this product to, they're already your customers, clients, users, followers, and subscribers who already know and love you. They already understand your other products and services and are fans of your business. I think you'd agree. That'd be pretty amazing, right? The question is, what would you do? Would you create a landing page or product page on your website for it? Would you create content and marketing materials to get the word out? Maybe showcase the features and benefits and tell the story a little bit? Would you get your sales staff to include it in their pitch? Maybe they could use it as an upsell or cross-sell. What if we told you this was not just some mythical, make-believe, imaginary product, but this product actually does exist, and you do own it, and you can sell it. All you have to do is tell people about it. Would you make that a priority? <laughs> You're damn right you would. I mean, who wouldn't? So to save you the suspense, the product is equity in your business, and in order to sell it, you need to describe it to your audience, and you do that with your business plan. Investors are buying your business, so in the pursuit of selling this highly profitable and inexpensive product, you need to tell them the who, what, where, when, why, and how, which is, again, your business plan. What if you could double your return on your marketing investment? What if you spent $200 on marketing and you got 10 new clients? What if you could spend that same $200, but instead of only getting 10 new clients worth $200 each, you also got 10 new investors also worth $200 each with the same $200 marketing spend. Now you've doubled your return on your marketing investment. For the record, yes, Y-E-S, that is part of the backer's blueprint. Part of what you get with the backer's platform. We'll touch on this a little bit later, but keep in mind as we move along. Now that your business plan is a priority, now what? Let's look at business failure reason number two, no market fit. This is a big one and possibly one of the biggest reasons as it encompasses several things. Simply put, the market has a problem that you're solving. Keyword being a problem the market has. Not a problem you have. The market doesn't care about your problems. They care about their problems and whether or not you have a solution to their problems. The greater the problem, the greater the need for the solution. Timing also plays into this. Not sure where this quote comes from, but it goes something like this. Pioneers get slaughtered and settlers flourish. A little graphic, but I think you get the picture, right? Just ask the people behind the Palm Pilot. Does anyone remember the Palm Pilot? 
Many of you actually have a Palm Pilot. For those of you who don't know what it is, it was arguably the predecessor to the iPhone. It was a PDA, Personal Digital Assistant. But why did it fail? Analysts pointed to the fact that the company was slow to realize that consumers wanted wireless voice and data from the same device, which shows poor timing, first to market, and unable to pivot quick enough. It also speaks to another piece in the no market fit puzzle, lack of market validation. Getting objective feedback from the market is key. You can build and include all the cool bells and whistles that you want, but if it's not what the market wants, then it's worthless. And if the market doesn't want it, it's simple. No sales and no sales eventually leads to a failed business. It's kind of like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole without the use of a router, that is. <laughs> Woodworking joke. So needless to say, market fit is extremely important. Solving a problem that people actually have that's important to them, providing a solution to that problem, and getting market validation so that both your solution and timing are right. But again, it's like I can read your mind. You're sitting there thinking, yeah, and how am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to get market validation? How can I get people to tell me what they want and what they need? How can I get people to tell me what their problems are? That sounds expensive and time consuming. It sounds like something a major corporation would waste money on, no thanks. We hear you. It probably does sound a little overwhelming. So how do you find out what the market's problem is and what people want? The simple answer is, you ask. You ask them what their problems are and what they're doing to fix them. You engage in a dialogue with your audience. You find out the solution you have in mind actually addresses their problem and you ask them if they would buy your products and if they would or do, yippee, validated. Their purchase is validation. But we don't stop there. Now you ask them to buy that other product, remember the one we talked about earlier, the one that's highly profitable that you already have, come on, it's equity, remember? And this is especially true if you don't even have another product or service to sell yet and all you can sell is equity. We'll get into how to accomplish this with backers, but yep, we take care of this as well. Awesome, right? Backers, they become backers of your business. Not only do they buy and love your products or services, but they're now invested in your business. Your success is their success, so they're going to be an important part of the long-term success of your business. Someone said, location, location, location is now audience, audience, audience. Actually, it was me that said that, and if that's the case, an audience that's invested in your business is a kajillion times better. Which brings us to our last of three main reasons that businesses fail. Not enough cash. Look, Mom, no cash. Does anyone remember riding their bike with no hands? How, car, how far could you go? Probably not far, right? Maybe a block or two? But what happens when you get to a major intersection and you must stop or maneuver around traffic? You're going to need those hands, right? It's kind of like running a business with no cash. You might be able to get out of the gate, but where the trouble comes in, you're going to need a little grease to keep the engine running smoothly. Seriously though, cash is the lifeblood of any business and there are only a couple of ways of getting it. Either you sell more of your product or services, which equates to the thing that we all need and love, right? Sales or you get money from someone else. This comes in many forms, including loans, credit, investments, etc. Either way, you're selling something. In the case of a loan or credit, you're selling a portion of your profit margin. I'll keep it simple. We're not about to do an accounting lesson, but it's generally agreed that interest owed and or paid along with cost of goods sold is factored into your net income. And for some, taking a loan or credit and paying high interest rates is acceptable that's if you qualify as a startup. Unfortunately, long term, this is a recipe for disaster. Just think how bad it is on the personal lending side. Payday loans, anyone? Why would it be good for any business? So, no cash, limited sales or no sales, no credit, no loans. And what else can a business do? Raise capital. Sell equity in their business. The business gets cash and gives up a portion of the future value of the business, which is realized in a successful business. Creating a higher net income, leaving more money to reinvest, creating the possibility of a greater future value. Yep, you can call me a mind reader again. You're thinking, sounds great, but how the heck am I going to do that? I'll give you one clue. 
what do you call people, institutions, or countries that support someone or something, especially financially? You guessed it, backers. That's how you do it. You get backers to enable you to get backers. Wow, our business name is so literal, makes you wonder, how could anyone misunderstand what we do? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's recap. The solution is you need, one, a plan to guide you and execute on it, two, market fit, timing, and validation, and three, cash. It seems so simple, but how can you accomplish this? While there are things out there that can accomplish some of these individually, unfortunately, there's nothing that can accomplish them all at once. Something that can prioritize your business plan, establish market fit, timing, and validation, and also give you cash. Until now, a solution to business planning or a lack of market fit and cold, hard cash all in one. The answer is equity crowdfunding. With equity crowdfunding, by its very nature, you're forced to create a plan and you have to be able to communicate that plan because you have to show it to the crowd. The crowd is the market. They will validate your ideas, provide you with the feedback you need, and justify your very existence. As evidenced by their interest and investment into your company, and yes, you get cash in return for the equity you sell to the crowd. But... There's always a but. Unfortunately, many equity crowdfunding campaigns will fail. Why is that? We're not conspiracy theorists, but there seems to be a conspiracy amongst the so-called investment elite, aka venture capitalists, and the angel investors. So, studies suggest that the investment decision criteria traditionally used by VCs or business angels are not of prime importance for success in equity crowdfunding. Instead, success is related to pre-selected crowdfunding campaign characteristics and the utilization of both private and public networks. <laughs> now that's a mouthful. Essentially, what it means is that, one, traditional approaches and criteria don't determine success. It's much more than simply bringing an idea to a pre-existing group of high net worth investors. Two, you need to have a strategic plan and to execute on that plan. And three, that plan needs to include you connecting with the crowd, building your audience by reaching out to thousands, if not millions of potential clients, customers, and investors. It's simple. It's equity crowdfunding with the key word being crowd, and you need to get your message, your brand, your idea, your investment opportunity out to the crowd to build your audience. It's not your fault if you think an equity crowdfunding portal should bring investors to you. It's that you've been misled and flat out lied to. While VCs and angels see the fact that for equity crowdfunding to be successful, it requires a significant investment from a business's customers and supporters as a negative or problem and would rather see more investment coming from a pre-existing investor pool. We see that as the solution. It's your crowd investing in your business. So let's just agree, traditional VCs and angels are the enemy. And outside of giving you cash and taking a significant piece of your company, essentially hijacking your company for their own ends, making you a pawn in your own chess game. Phew, we've been waiting a long time to say that. And thankfully, there are better ways to raise capital. Backers. Don't just take our word for it. Here's what some other people who have successfully raised capital using equity crowdfunding have to say. It's so cool that our most dedicated readers have become our shareholders. Lin Dao Smook, COO, Hacker Noon. Monzo was the first bank to enable customers to become shareholders through a crowdfunding platform. Tom Blomfield, founder, Monzo. Start with the people you know and expect to tap into your personal connections to kickstart the campaign, then deploy your marketing campaign to reach a broader audience to help fund the remainder. Entrepreneur.com The question then becomes, how do you grow your audience or crowd so you can benefit from and be successful with your equity crowdfunding campaign? So you can grow your business, gain loyal customers, and raise capital. 
And the answer is backers, the backers social funding platform, your private equity crowdfunding platform. We've taken the pain and cost out of raising capital and created a simple and easy to use platform, enabling you to raise more funds in a shorter amount of time while also gaining a massive following of loyal supporters. So you can get back to your business quicker with the funds and following you need to realize your vision and achieve the success you want and deserve. Giving you more time to focus on what really matters in your business, hiring the right people, innovating with new products and services, expanding your reach, and making a difference in the world. So you have a continued support system and a consistent source of new business that will come from your followers, both new and old. Because as investors, they too benefit from the success of your business and will help you achieve that success. Hey, and maybe even so you can take some time for yourself or an unwind or recharge, spend some time with friends and family. Everyone needs a break once in a while. Let me ask you another question. When was the last time you bought something of significance immediately after watching a 30 second video? The answer is likely never. On average, it takes eight touches to get through to and generate a conversion with a prospect, which means you need to create a systematic process that takes a completely cold lead and nurtures and warms it to the boiling point where they not only purchase, but become enthusiastic supporters of your business. But that can be a difficult thing to do. So to answer your question, at Backers, we put together a systematic and strategic plan to accomplish just that, to enable you to grow your business, gain loyal customers, and raise capital without paying high interest loans or giving away total control of your business. Regardless of where you currently are in your business, ranging from a startup with no audience and only an idea to a successful business looking to take the next step and expanding on an existing audience, it's the Backer Social Funding Platform. It's everything you need at your fingertips, and it all starts with the Backer's Bootcamp, the first of three phases and the Backer's Blueprint to success. It's the ABC of Backer's Audience, Brand, Capital. It's in our DNA. It guides everything we do. It's the first of three modules we'll look at your audience, covering various topics like identifying your audience and target market, understanding how to reach them, and most importantly, we'll show you how to grow your audience, how to grow a following of loyal and supportive investors who will not only invest in your business, but will be the foundation for all of your future success. We will look at creating engaging content and social media marketing strategies that will enable you to own your audience and create both paid and organic lead generation. And module two will cover your brand. In order to grow an audience, you need to have a clear and concise message. And you need to create a meaningful connection with your audience. And to do this, you need to start with why. Why would someone want to do business with you? Why are you doing what you do? What's your mission? What problem do you solve? Why does your solution matter? Why should someone care? Then we'll look at brand management, consumer behavior, brand strategy, brand equity, brand image, and did we say market fit? Your brand is the single most important investment you can make in your business. And last but not least, in module three, we'll cover the capital requirements. This is where we'll work to establish a business plan to identify the capital requirements, use of capital, and to give you the tools you need to start to do the due diligence to understand a potential business valuation. We'll give you ways to start to look around the room to identify your human capital requirements, to identify your budget and resources to accomplish your equity crowdfunding objectives. Upon completion of the Backers Bootcamp, you'll enter the second phase in the Backers Blueprint. The connection phase is where you'll start to implement what was learned in the Backers Bootcamp and to connect the dots. This process can be shorter or longer depending on where you currently are as a business. The first step is to actually build out and document your plan. While it may sound simple, this is a key to success both on the backers platform and in business. The second step is to start to get social and start to connect with and build your audience, continuously improving your message and validating your ideas. Finally, the third step is to identify and outline your actual capital requirements. 
Okay, okay, okay. So you're ready to launch your equity crowdfunding campaign and to start raising some capital. You've identified and started to connect with your audience. You have a clear and concise message and brand and why you're doing this and what you need capital-wise to make it happen. It's launch time. Introducing the Backers Launch Formula. We banish hope marketing. Using a structured sequence of content, building anticipation before your launch, creating nearly instant momentum with your launch, creating an offer so strong it's almost impossible to refuse, we let the audience decide, not an angel in the outfield. And we let the market validate your business, not a shark out of water. It's audience building on steroids. First, we start with the seed launch or internal launch is the first step in the stacked launch. This is where you go out to your existing audience that you had or have started to build and get the ball rolling, offering only a fraction of the overall capital requirements at a discount. Great for friends and family to get involved. Upon successful completion of the seed raise, we move into the public launch. This is where the rubber meets the road and you grow your business, gain loyal customers, and raise capital. Through a series of successive launches or launch stacking, you build momentum from launch to launch, increasing your chances of success and growing your audience along the way providing you with the following and funding you need, and because there's no single point of failure, you can make mistakes and it still works. It's about connecting with and growing your audience, telling your brand story, and raising the capital you need to succeed. When you follow the backers launch formula, they're gonna love you. They're gonna love your brand. They're gonna invest in you and your brand. If nothing else, we want you to learn how to be a better entrepreneur and business owner and to increase your chances of success, both in raising capital and in business. It's a process. The backers blueprint for success is simple. It starts with the backers bootcamp, the first step in launching your campaign on the backers platform. We show you step by step what to do, how to do it, and provide the platform to do it on. Now, like other equity crowdfunding portals, we could charge as much as $10,000 upfront fee to get started. And if all we did was significantly increase your chances of success and dramatically reduce your risk of failure, enabling you to grow your business, gain loyal customers, and raise capital, giving you the funds and following you need to succeed, you'd agree that that'd be a fair price to ask. But we want to work with you and give you the tools you need to succeed. Remember, we talked about the three main reasons for business failure. No plan, no market fit, no cash. We can alleviate those worries and you can get started today on the Backers Social Funding Platform. So what exactly do you get with the Backers Social Funding Platform? I thought you'd never ask. I'll tell you what you get with backers. One, a social funding campaign, so you can raise capital for your business on a regulated funding portal. Yes, the funding portals are regulated by the local regulators, aka the SEC, or any other local securities regulators. This is important to note, as it ensures everyone's protection. Two, market validation. As we explained earlier, you get the all-important market validation from your investors by the very fact that they invest in your business. So far to recap, with the Backers Social Funding Platform, you're getting a social funding campaign on a regulated funding portal and market validation. What else? Oh yeah, three, business planning. We've partnered one of the largest business planning software companies in the world to provide you with access to their business planning software to guide you in writing your business plan. And we know that it's going to be a priority for you. You're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to make you sit down and put it all on paper. We're going to force you to do it. So you get a social funding campaign to raise capital, market validation, and business planning. Cash, validation, and a plan. Looks like we covered all three. But wait, there's more. Yay, bonuses. Who doesn't love a good bonus, right? We also provide you with campaign management. We provide you with exclusive access to our campaign management tools. It's a project management tool that we set up and customize to your specific needs that gives you the step-by-step -step requirements, tasks, and activities that you need to fulfill to accomplish your goal of raising capital. It's a way for us to keep the communication channels open to ensure that you're progressing in the right direction. 
So you get a social funding campaign on a regulated funding portal, market validation, a plan, and our exclusive campaign management tools, but I feel like there's more. You're probably going to need something to show you how to get all this done. Oh yeah, right. We give you the complete access to the Backers University, which includes the Backers Bootcamp, as well as other courses to help educate you and give you the skills you need to succeed. Okay, so you get a social funding campaign on a regulated funding portal, market validation, a plan, campaign management tools, and skill development. For some reason, I think I'm leaving, I'm leaving something out. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember now social networking, your very own audience. You're going to build your own audience and following and your marketing dollars will fund your audience building and social funding campaign, doubling the return on your marketing investment, driving new customer acquisition for both your products and services and selling that other product, equity. So again, in case you were not keeping track, you get a social funding campaign on a regulated funding portal, enabling you to raise capital by selling equity in your business to the crowd. You get the ever important market validation, ensuring that your timing is right, and that there is a market fit, it's inherent in the very nature of an investor choosing you. Throughout the process, you're able to prioritize your business plan, thereby enabling you to sell that equity and guide you to success. And we provide you with this software to make it easier to get it done. You get cold hard cash, you get campaign management tools, and accountability to keep your feet to the fire to ensure you achieve your goals. You get skill development through the Backers University Online Education Portal so you know what you need to do and how to do it. And last but not least, actually probably one of the most important to your long-term success, you get your own audience and audience or following of loyal supporters, customers, users, clients, and fans who are now invested in your business. All so you can grow your business, gain loyal customers, and raise capital without paying high interest loans or giving away total control of your business. And while there are a few guarantees in life, we guarantee that we'll provide you with the tools you need, and if you follow the process and execute on the plan, and you have a viable business opportunity, you will not find a better opportunity to grow your business, gain loyal customers, and raise capital. Registration is open now, so what are you waiting for? Register today and get started. Just think, a year from now, you can be in a completely different position, having raised capital. Your business will have grown tremendously, you'll have a huge following, or as we like to call them, backers, and the financial stress you feel today will be a distant memory. Hey, maybe you'll even have taken a break for a couple days. Just think. You may even be able to meet those projections that you made. Your business is taking off because of the validation and support you have from your backers. Seriously, what are you waiting for? Click the button somewhere near this video to register and let's get started today. So you can build a plan to guide you and execute on it. You can establish market fit, ensure your timing is right, and get the oh so valuable market validation. Not to mention, get the cash you need. It may sound cliche, but your business will be bigger, better, stronger as a result. With the funding and following you need to succeed, at this point, I want to welcome those of you who already clicked on the link and have started on that journey with us and are listening to this in the background on a different screen. Welcome to the Backers family. We look forward to working with you. It's exciting times. Over the past little while, we've spoken to so many of you, so it's great to finally get started. To those of you that are still watching and have not clicked yet to get started, I'll end it with one last story and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. As entrepreneurs, we all struggle, and unfortunately, failures or missteps are inevitable, but it's how we deal with them and our ability to get back up and to continue that sets the successful apart from the rest. As with anything, whether it's sports, business, family, it's our ability to stand tall in the face of adversity and to persist through what many think might be impossible, and that's what makes us who we are. To be an entrepreneur, you have to be someone special. By their very nature, successful entrepreneurs have to be different, separate from the status quo, if they want to create change. To other people, you're going to seem crazy, because who in their right mind will want to subject themselves to all the trials and tribulations of being an entrepreneur? They'll discourage you, laugh at you, and tell you that you're wrong. 
What's worse is sometimes it'll come from people you respect, like your coworkers, teachers, friends, and even family. Those are the ones that will cut the deepest. Which brings me to a story that has always been inspiring, showing that anything can happen and it's never too late. Hard work and persistence will pay off, so never give up. I'm assuming we all know Colonel Sanders, the visionary behind the wildly successful KFC restaurant chain. Colonel Sanders had a string of failed business ventures behind him by age 65. He traveled the U.S. attempting to sell his chicken recipe to restaurants, often sleeping in his car, and the hard work slowly produced results. And in 1964, at the age of 73 years old, he sold the Kentucky Fried Chicken Corporation for millions. His persistence had finally paid off. But imagine what the old colonel would have been able to accomplish with backers, and probably a lot sooner, if he was able to not only sell his chicken recipe, but also sell a small portion of his business to each of those restaurateurs at the same time. Now each of those businesses would not only be buying the tasty recipe, but would welcome a partner and supporter and share in the success of KFC. Now, thankfully, you don't have to drive around and sleep in your car hoping for success. You can kick that process into overdrive and fast track your way to success using the Backers private equity crowdfunding platform. But it all starts with the Backers Bootcamp. And yes, registration is open, so what are you waiting for? Click that button and let's get started today. Seriously, what are you waiting for? Click that button now and let's get started today. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.